nutritionist and I specialize in gut health for busy women. So if you've got ongoing IBS problems, bloating, indigestion, any of those horrible, um, really niggly, annoying gut problems going on, I can help you get to the bottom of what's happening there. So I use cutting edge gut testing and I use dietary interventions and supplementing to really get things working really well for you there again so it's not interfering in your day-to-day -day life and help you to get to feel really good again. So today I was going to talk to you a little bit about prebiotics. I think by now we're all pretty familiar with probiotics and the beneficial effects that they can have on our health. But how about prebiotics? What do they do? Because they're actually just as essential. And um, basically, in a nutshell, they will help your probiotics to work better. So what are they? Well, your prebiotics are a kind of fibre that pass through your digestive system Oh, so your upper digestive system, they're not absorbed by your digestive system. So they go through to your large intestine where they provide food for your beneficial bacteria. So your beneficial bacteria get busy with that, they ferment away and they can then get nice and healthy and proliferate. And you can benefit from all those great um, health benefits that they, that they provide you with. So better immunity better mood, uh, weight loss assistance if you need that, and then of course your gut health too. There is a caveat which I will come to at the end, so do stay tuned if you've got gut problems because um, there, there is some more explaining to do with this, so do, do hang on in there. Um, so if you're not eating enough prebiotics or supplementing prebiotics, you could be at risk from indigestion, inflammation, or any of the other um, associated conditions that go along with inflammation. You could have problems with immunity, you may have weight problems, and you're potentially, you could be putting yourself at risk for a lot of chronic conditions, which is of course not what we want at all. Um, so in an ideal world, you're going to be getting plenty of probiotics and you're going to be getting plenty of prebiotics as well to feed them with. OK, so what are prebiotics essentially? Well, they are, as I say, they're a type of fibre. And fibre isn't just one thing. It's a whole fibre, is a whole family of different compounds that we need out of our diet. We've got soluble fiber, insoluble fiber. There's all kinds of different fiber. Um, and they're not digestible by us. We don't we don't get any fuel from them or anything like that. It's not broken down in the small intestine. Go the all kinds of fiber will go round into the large intestine and do lots of good work there. So as I say your prebiotic fiber is going to pass through the small intestine into the large intestine and provide fuel for your beneficial bacteria. Okay, so you may find prebiotics marketed, um, well they're broken down into categories called fructooligosaccharides, you may find them referred to as inulin or you may find them referred to galactooligosaccharides. So if you are looking for supplements, they would be labelled FOS, so that's capital F-O-S, or GOS, capital G-O-S. Um, so they would be your main kind of categories of prebiotics if you were going to buy them as a supplement. However, you can get plenty of them as foods. So if you're eating plenty of onions, leeks, chicory, garlic, then you can be assured that you're getting plenty of prebiotics in your diet naturally. And um, so, for example, if you're going to be making bolognese or soups or curries or anything, if you use onions to start off um, frying onions, then that's going to give you plenty of prebiotics. And ditto leeks, you can put those in as well. They generally disintegrate quite nicely. You can't really taste them, actually, once you've added them to cooking. 
in soups and things like that. You can always blend them down if you don't really like the taste and um, things like that. So you can add them in without actually feeling like you're eating anything extra, if you see what I mean. And then, of course, use garlic as flavouring as well, because that's great for your immune health too. OK, so the benefits of prebiotics are lower risk of cardiovascular disease, lower risk of bloating and other IBS symptoms and your um, indigestion, other gut health problems. They'll help your immunity and um, inflammation, as I say, and any other associated um, problems that come along with that, like weight gain, etc. So if you do decide to, to supplement, then you'll definitely probably notice a improvement in um, your appetite control and it will help you absorb your nutrients a lot more. You may see improvements in your mood and of course your gut function too. Okay, so if you're going to supplement, there is a caveat, as I said in a minute, but if you're going to supplement, then yes, definitely do take them together because the prebiotics will definitely enhance all the good work that the probiotics are doing in there for you. Okay, so yes, this caveat I keep on about, if you've had gut problems ongoing for a long time and you've tried to get to the bottom of it, but you can't establish what's causing it, um, maybe you've taken out food, you've tried this, you've tried taking out gluten or dairy, etc. and you just can't nail it, um, I would definitely recommend going for a gut test just to find out what you've got going on in there before you go ahead and start supplementing with either prebiotics or probiotics because what can end up happening is you can just make the situation much much worse you can increase bloating and things like that and make it quite painful so as long as you establish first of all what you've got going on and then you can personalize a program going forward to get you on the right supplements um, that are going to really kind of nail things for you so if you would like to find out more about gut testing then I shall pop a link to my diary in the comments. Um, you can book a free 30 minute call so I can just find out more about you, what you've got going on. And then if I think that I can help you. OK, so that's definitely the best course of action. Definitely don't supplement anything like probiotics or prebiotics if you've got ongoing gut symptoms, because it's very important to kind of establish what's causing those first. OK, I hope that helped you and um, have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.